I almost quit YouTube last year. Let's talk about that. So I realized it's been a while since I made a video just kind of talking about the channel and where we're going and stuff like that. So I decided now's a good time, right? We're producing lots of videos and we're still stuck inside. So yeah, let's talk. So of course you're curious about what I just said. You almost quit? You probably remember. Back in spring, summer of last year, I was producing a ton of videos and the channel was growing really quickly. I even got YouTube's acclaimed creator on the rise which was really cool and definitely gave me a big boost. To be clear though, that wasn't really the problem. To some degree, COVID threw me for a loop. Though if I'm being honest, I look back on my summer in Vancouver with very fond memories because we were able to go out and eat food, leave the house, go on the transit system, do a lot of things that we can't even think about doing right now. I've been stuck in this apartment for four to five months now. It's crazy. I think the ultimate reason why I almost quit YouTube You'll see that I stopped releasing videos, I think, in around August, and I didn't seriously come back until around October. The truth is, I made a video. The video was this one up here. You should watch it. It was on visiting every SkyTrain station in Vancouver. I have done videos before where I visit every station in the city, but they're usually kind of a vlog style. I'm just literally filming myself as I do this insane thing. But for the Vancouver video, I thought, how cool would it be to make like a mini documentary where I basically rode around the system and since you can see out the windows, I talked about what I was seeing. I talked about the stations and different interesting things I saw as I was traveling along. It felt like a bit of an adventure together, but the video bombed. I swear, I spent five or six hours out on the system that day writing. I spent many more writing a script and editing the video and it hurt a lot when I released it and it just didn't take off. I really expected it to, but it didn't. After that, I took a two month break from YouTube. It had a big impact on me, honestly, but I think I learned a lot from it. If you're wondering why I'm thinking about this right now, recently someone asked me, what's the best video you've ever made? Or what's your favorite video? And I realized it was that video. The truth is that what I like making may not always be what's popular. But since then, I've really focused on making the videos I'm interested in making and hoping people find something of interest in them. I'm a lot happier now doing that. And since I know there are other up and coming transit YouTubers out there, I thought it was worth mentioning because I think doing what you enjoy and making videos about the stuff you wanna talk about is really important. Now with that perhaps interesting story out of the way, let's talk about what's coming next. The truth is I was thinking about doing this video about what's coming for the channel a couple months from now, but I realized that I'm so excited about it that I had to make a video sooner. Now, apologies in advance that there's not gonna be a lot of specifics in this video. I'm really hyping myself up, you could say. First of all, COVID seems to be slowly fading. Vaccines are going great, and while they are being deployed slower than a lot of us would like, it's incredible watching the number of people vaccinated just slowly ticking up. It's, it's really exciting. And of course, when COVID is gone, I think there will be a lot of very interesting opportunities. Now, I wanna point something out. A lot of people have been requesting I do videos for some of my older series, like Station Focus and Future of Transit, and as quick as possible. And I wanna let you know, they're coming. I really enjoyed doing a lot of my older series. And I think with COVID happening and all of the changes that have happened in the past two years, it just kind of made sense for the videos to change. But what I've realized was that there was a lot to those older series, especially Station Focus. I think that's a video series I personally always wanted to watch and something I'm so excited to getting back to filming once we can. Suffice to say, all of those series that people enjoyed, they're coming back in a big way. And I know people frequently request we talk about different cities and trust me, we hear you. One video that has been requested for over a year is a video on Atlanta, a city that I've actually spent a decent amount of time in and haven't made any videos on. The truth is, whether I make a video on a city or not, often doesn't have to do a ton with whether people request it. I definitely take it into consideration, but as I said before, I make videos that I'm interested in. And to be clear, that doesn't mean I'm not interested in Atlanta, for example, but what it means is that the right idea hasn't struck me. The way I'm going to bring it into a video just hasn't come up yet. And it's not just series. We have a number of very exciting individual videos that will be coming in the next few months. I can't say too much more than that other than I think people will be quite excited when they see them. 
And to be fair too, there's a lot of broad changes coming to the channel. Nothing people will dislike, I don't think, but exciting changes for sure. So with that, thank you for entertaining my transit madness. I spend more time researching, reading about systems, learning from experts, reading forums, and crawling different documents on the internet than I'd care to admit. But I love transit and I wanna see it made better. And with all of your support, I will do so.